this week on the electrics it is cereal time folks i'm so excited for this <laughs> a new sunship flavor like just stop think about this right now filled marshmallows oh yeah there we go What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on The Electrics. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are watching this video. I got something special for you all in this video. And I know before you guys ask, Christy's out on a walk. Anyways, now to the main order of business, folks. Just so you all know, there is so much deliciousness out on the shelf right now here in America. And I recently took a trip to Walmart for like the first time in like a long time, probably well over six months. And let me just tell you all, I spent a good amount of money yesterday at Walmart buying delicious junk food. So everyone, I'm gonna enjoy some of the latest, most delicious treats out there for you guys tonight. And like always, I'm gonna let you all know whether they're worth it or whether they're not worth it. But before I jump into all the deliciousness tonight, it's time for me to thank the sponsor of this week's video. Since you all see me eat so many different kinds of food, a lot of it's not really the healthiest types of food, I pretty much get asked on a daily basis how I'm able to eat the food that I eat and not break out like crazy. Ever since I've started using T. Shanley's products, I've noticed a tremendous difference in the way my skin looks and feels. The thing that I love most about the T. Shanley experience is that they make it super simple for you to get great skin. I'm a person that really needs, I need simplicity. I need something that's really easy to follow. Right out of the box, you get a really easy to follow instruction list with everything you need to know on it so you can get great skin. And a lot of people go, oh, well, I don't have time for that. Well, all it takes is 90 seconds out of your day. That's it, I'm telling you, 90 seconds, maybe a little bit more, like 95 seconds. The other super cool thing about D. Shanley is that they cut out the middleman so that they can sell you great skincare products at an affordable price. Here is the deal, folks. Since T. Shanley is sponsoring this video, they're gonna hook you up with a free gift with your first order. All you gotta do is click the link located down below in the description. Without further ado, everyone, it's time to get this started. It's time for round one. It is cereal time, folks. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so let me just tell y'all right now, Cosmic Brownies are a, they're a delicious snack food, okay? And now they've been made into a cereal. By the way, everyone, if you haven't been able to tell by my voice, I'm a little under the weather, I'm a little nasally, but I decided I wanna make this video because I love you guys. Anyways, Cosmic Brownie cereal. I love Cosmic Brownies. I'm not really sure if it's gonna be good in a cereal, but on the other hand over here, we have Dolce de Leche Toast Crunch. Now, as you know, I'm a Cinnamon Toast Crunch connoisseur. I've eaten a lot of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in my life. I've eaten way too much Cinnamon Toast Crunch in my life. All right, now the, the moment of truth is figuring out which one I wanna try first. I have to cleanse the palate one more time with some beer. Okay, this is always the tough one. I think I'm gonna do the Cosmic Brownie cereal first. Have you guys ever had, if, you, yeah, if you've never had a Cosmic Brownie, I mean, it tastes like a brownie. It's just a little bit better than a brownie. <laughs> All right, here we go. First impression. Usually I'm really excited when I smell new cereals, but um, that's what we got right there. And it is what our Cosmic Brownie cereal looks like. I'm just gonna say, it doesn't really look all that impressive. Usually, I don't know, I, I have this mode that I get in when I see cereal, but let's give this a shot. Let's see what we got here, okay? Three, two, one, boom. That is incredibly basic. Oh my goodness, I'm so let down right now. Oh my goodness, I had such high hopes for this. Hold on, maybe it was, maybe it was, maybe it's a fluke. Maybe I just gotta try one more time. Wow, everybody. <laughs> Not wow in a good way. It's, I, I feel bad for starting off the video like this because usually I like to start off the videos in a great way, but this is just not good. This is in fact, probably one of the worst cereals that I've had in a long time. Um, I'm gonna say that's a definite not worth it. Now for the Dolce de Leche crunch. I don't really know what the definition of Dolce de Leche actually means. Caramel and cinnamon flavor, okay. I guess we're just gonna go with caramel and cinnamon. Okay, now that is much different. Whew. Okay, very excited about this. Very, oh my gosh. 
Ooh. All right, folks, ladies and gentlemen, take a gander. We have Dolce de Leche Crunch. Right now. Hold on one second, I gotta cleanse the palate. I, I love General Mills so much. I don't think there's a General Mills cereal out there that I don't like. All right, here we go. Whew, that is good. Oh my goodness. That hits every sort of just deliciousness taste bud that I have on my tongue. That was a really weird way of me saying that this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Yes, the caramel on this just shines through. It's like, it's 2021. We got caramel cereal, basically. Everyone, this is just, I'm gonna need, I need a moment. I'm glad I got the gold, the golden spoon out for this. This is just straight flames. Mm. I feel like I'm, I'm going from one extreme to the other by saying that's like the worst cereal I've ever had. This is a legendary cereal right here. You guys gotta go try this. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Totally, totally, one hundred thousand percent worth it. All right, so this is officially the snack round. Now, I just wanna let you guys know right now that I'm I'm positive that I'm not gonna like these because I already don't like Pop-Tarts in and of themselves and I really, really don't like fruit flavored things and desserts, but I'm open-minded, okay? And I wanna give them a shot. Now these, <laughs> a new Sun Chip flavor. Like, everyone, Sun Chips are probably one of the most underrated chips out there for how amazing they are because I, like, I cannot tell you guys how much I love Sun Chips. They're amazing. And I'm probably gonna upset a lot of people by saying this, but they blow Doritos out of the water. They blow Cheetos out of the water. They blow pretty much every chip out there out of the water, and they're amazing. I also saw that they have new Lay's. This is the Adobo, Adobodas? Adobodas? Adobodas. Lay's. I'm assuming that these are going to be something spicy. So, we're in for a treat here. I think we should just go ahead and, and try the uh, the Pop-Tart bites first. And I'm just doing carb collections. You know, I, 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 I've got, like I posted these on my Instagram story, which you guys should go follow. If you guys haven't followed yet, link is down below in the description. I posted on my Instagram story yesterday, and a lot of people were like, oh, you should just bring back carb collections. And it's just like, oh. For whatever reason, they just, people, they didn't really get a lot of views. You know, they didn't, people weren't really that into them. I think the last one I posted was like a year, year and a half ago. It was a long, a long time ago. And it's just, it just, I could tell that it just wasn't, it wasn't doing very well. So I decided to, to curtail them. But that's why I have this channel. So I can, I can try these out for you guys. Um, this is the frosted blueberry flavor. Here we go. You know, it's actually not bad. Normally, I just don't like fruit and things. Like, I will say that the Frosted Strawberry Pop-Tarts, those are a classic. I mean, these are not, they're not bad at all. Let me get some hydration up in here. I mean, beer is hydration too, but you know. I would, oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be rough because I really wanna tell you guys those are worth it. Those are worth it if you're a person that likes fruit flavored desserts. If you're a person that's not a fruit flavored dessert person, then definitely avoid them, which I mean, should be painfully obvious from the box. If you look at a frosted blueberry flavor, definitely avoid that. Um, save one of these for crispy. And I get a lot of questions usually when, when I do these like junk food videos where we have like cereal or chips or cookies or whatever it is. A little foreshadowing coming up. We got some, got some cookie action in the next round. But our, our, our neighbors love this stuff too, so we usually share with them. I think I want to do the adobo das. Can anybody down below in the comments let me know what this means? Because I actually, I speak Spanish kind of okay, but I don't know what that word means. I see lime and I see chili and I see tomato on the front, on the front package right here. So let's, let's do this. Here we go. I mean, I was expecting it to be super spicy. They're not spicy. 
I mean, they're good. They kind of remind me of just like regular Lay's potato chips with like some paprika or chili powder added to them. But no, they're good. These on the other hand. I can tell that these are gonna be pretty spicy. Palette cleanse. Chili lime sun chips. This is legendary, folks. Here we go. You guys, comment down below with what your favorite sun chip flavor is. Personally, for me, I like the OG sun chips, but the salsa verde flavor. Here we go. Okay, those have a kick to them. Okay, those definitely have a kick to them. Those are way hotter than these are, which is really surprising. I didn't see that there was a jalapeno in the package. Um, when I see a chili, <clears throat> goodness, when I see a chili and then I see like a jalapeno, I automatically think that the package with the jalapeno on it, it's gonna be like a thousand times spicier than just the chili. I don't know what it is, that's just me. Wow. Whew. Goodness gracious, I'm gonna need a moment. I mean, they're good if you guys want, if you guys want something with a little kick to them. Okay, more than a little kick. I'm gonna do something I didn't think I was gonna do in this video. I'm gonna say that those are not worth it, for me at least. These are all based on me. But then again, I, I don't like spicy food. Uh, I'm not a huge spicy food person. I'm gonna stick to my, I'm gonna stick to my salsa verde, sun chips, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Those on the other hand, I'm gonna say those are worth it for sure. Place potato chips are always fire. Um. Cookies, we love cookies. I love cookies, cookies are amazing. Pillsbury now has cookies, okay? Now they're making cookies. Now, you don't have to just go to your refrigerated section and find Pillsbury in the, in the little tub and just make cookies. They took care of that for you. Now you can just buy a package with their cookies in it. Now, I do, I do wanna say, I got the confetti flavor, but they also have a peanut butter flavor, which I know that, I, I know that, I'm, I already know that I'm gonna love that. I'm saving that for a future challenge. Who thinks they know what the challenge is gonna be? Drop a comment down below. I'm excited about these, okay? I'm very excited about these because they are golden candy chip, chips ahoy. Here's the thing though. I'm personally, when it comes down to cookies at least, I'm a soft cookie person, but in certain cases, I will reach for a Chips Ahoy cookie if it's if it's the right flavor. I don't know if golden candy chip is gonna be the right flavor for me, but who knows what's gonna happen. There we go, ooh, yum. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Hmm, that smells like, it smells like Chips Ahoy. So that's what we got right there. I'm not really sure what they meant by candy chip, golden candy chip. I want to say like an M&M, &M and I love M&Ms. We'll see, we'll, see we'll see what this is all about right here. Honestly, it's not really that special. Like, it kind of just tastes like a regular Chips Ahoy cookie to me. I don't know. I don't really get the, the chip at all. I mean, I do, but it's just like not really that prominent. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm gonna have to say those are not worth it. I'm just gonna say right now, the best Chips Ahoy flavor is the peanut butter cup flavor, the Reese's peanut butter cup flavor. We all know that Reese's peanut butter cups are amazing and when you put them in a cookie, they're gonna be even more amazing. Like, I don't care who disagrees with me out there, that's just a fact, you know, and if you disagree with me, well, whatever. We all have our opinions. Now this, on the other hand, I'm very, very excited about. Yeah, I found this funny. They, they want you to know Right there, it's made with real butter. <laughs> it's not made with that fake butter stuff. Who wanna eat a soft baked cookie from Pillsbury with fake butter in it? We got on the inside right here, this is a, comparing both of these, I'm like, this is the, the Chips Ahoy looks like a crime scene. The Pillsbury is all like neat and soft and delicious. Oh my goodness gracious! Woo! Oh my goodness. That is the best packaged cookie I've had in forever. I feel like I lost some Sprite there as I slammed my fist down. That is so good. Look, everyone. Like, goodness gracious. 
when I eat these in my challenges, like the soft cookies just, mm, they just feel like they go down so much better and they just taste so much better. Mmm. One hundred thousand percent worth it. One hundred thousand percent not worth it. I think I I told you guys all you needed to know about that. Okay, so for our final round tonight, we have some delicious Ben and Jerry's cookie dough non-dairy frozen dessert. I like how they specify on the on the package it's not ice cream, it's frozen dessert. <laughs> it's like non-dairy cannot be ice cream. So we have the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. I know what you guys are thinking too. You're looking at this and you're going, Eric, these just look like normal marshmallows. Who cares about that? Well, no, 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 no. Let me correct you there. These, my friends and family, are filled marshmallows. Chocolate filled marshmallows. Like, I know what you're thinking. Just like stop whatever you whatever's going on in your mind right now as you're watching this video. Just stop. Think about this right now. 2021. Filled marshmallows. Did you ever think that that would ever happen? No, you probably didn't. I didn't think that would happen either, but everyone, it just happened. Filled marshmallows. I don't know why I'm so impressed by that, but I am. Goodness gracious. We also have something too that I don't know if I'm gonna really enjoy, but I got it. It's key lime pie, Kit Kats. Now, the last Kit Kat that I had that was new was the apple pie, I believe. And it was legendary. I got these mainly because they were new. And I was like, hey, cool. It, it would look fantastic for the thumbnails. So, yeah. I want to actually try this, this non-dairy frozen, frozen dessert first. That's what the inside looks like right there. Now, Bread and Jerry's is going hard on the non-dairy flavors lately. But maybe this is going uh, to be good. I don't know. I like cookie dough. So here we go. Let's try it out. I need one more. The first, the first spoonful wasn't wasn't good enough. Cookie dough chunks, superb. The base of the ice cream is where I run into a lot of issues because you can definitely taste that it's not dairy at all. And I know it's like you can't you can't get around that Ben and Jerry's and all ice cream makers out there. If you're a person that is vegan, vegetarian, or whatever it is, somebody that doesn't eat dairy, all this is gonna do it for you. I'm gonna put that out there. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm gonna say that one's not worth it. Let's just get this out of the way because it, it just needs to be it needs to be done. I just want to say right now, like one of my worst memories of my life was the first time I ever tried key lime pie, like actual key lime pie when I was a kid. We were at a place called Marie Calendars. It's if anybody knows what that is, it's like an actual. We don't really have them around in San Diego anymore. I mistakenly was given key lime pie instead of apple pie and I almost threw up. I was like, I think I was like nine or 10 years old and it was something that's etched in my memory, okay? Key lime pie Kit Kats are now on shelves and it smells like, it smells like key lime pie. I don't know why I'm doing this, but hey, I got it. It's new, whatever. I'm not supposed to eat a Kit Kat like that, I was told. Oh, not worth it. Oh my goodness gracious, that's terrible. Christy's going to absolutely love that, but I am just going to forget that that ever just happened right now. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I don't know why I dislike key lime pie so much. I'm, I don't know. Every single time I point it out in a video, people usually are like, dude, you're crazy. I don't know. I just don't like it. These on the other hand, I wonder what would happen if I put one of these in the microwave. Let's, uh, let's try it first and see, let's see how it does, okay. Stuffed milk chocolate marshmallows. Okay. That's good. Don't tell Christy, because this is going to make a huge mess. Oh crap, it's getting bigger. That's what she said. Oh snap, this is. Oh. Bruh. Alright, now this is the. This is the this is the climax of the video. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but whatever. Oh yeah, there we go. Everyone, that's how you take down a marshmallow right there. Those are worth it. 
in the microwave. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> But anyways, folks, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want to see more videos like this, whenever new items come out, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. And also let me know what you guys want to see next on the electrics. I'm going to go ahead and put another junk food video that we've done right up there for you guys. And also a video that I think you're going to enjoy. I'll put right up there as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next electrics video.